If you're like me, then Starfield Shipbuilder has been distracting you from the main story for far too long. But when they first announced that you could build your ships fully customizable inside and out, I said that I would build the Normandy from Mass Effect. So that's exactly what I did. This is the Normandy SR3, a former bounty hunter, now Freestar Ranger and member of the Constellation, came across some old plans from a 22nd century warship and decided to rebuild it. Okay, enough of that. I built a fully functional Normandy in Starfield, and I don't mean like that TikTok where all it could do was fly. No, this is actually fully functional. It flies, it has shields, weapons, cabins, a crew, and it's fast just like in Mass Effect. So you can actually use this as a normal ship in your playthrough. Now this isn't one of my regular videos, I'm not even sure if I'm going to continue to upload Starfield videos, but I had to make an exception. This is going to be a tutorial of sorts. I'm going to be showing you what parts I used, and then at the end of the video I will give you a tour of the inside of the ship. But there are some prerequisites first. You're going to need the Starship Design perk at level 4, otherwise you won't be able to get the power necessary for all your functions. Most of the parts that I used came from Neon and Paradiso, and maybe a couple of parts here and there from other shops that I can't remember off the top of my head. But we are mostly using Stroud products for the bulk of the ship. This next part is going to be live commentary, so speech may be slurred and stuttering will probably happen. Don't worry, I'm not having a stroke, it's perfectly normal. Now let's go ahead and jump into the shipbuilder. Alright, so jumping into the shipbuilder, I've decided just for the sake of simplicity, we're going to go ahead and divide this up into three different groups. The left wing, the right wing, and the centerpiece. Starting at the bottom, of course, we have the Tayo landing gear, or landing bay. This is the shipbed 200. This is a fairly common item, most, most space ports have it, but you want this one specifically because if you look carefully, the, in the entrance here, there is no ladder, it's a door, instead of, so you walk straight into it instead of climbing up a ladder. That's what you want. But yeah, it's the only one by one with a walk-in door and not a ladder. Connecting to the landing bay is a storeroom, a one by one storeroom. A companion way does not work. For whatever reason, it does not work, and I don't know why. I guess Bethesda still has a few things to work out. So it has to be a storeroom. Connecting to that is going to be an engineering bay. Again, these are all Stroud items. All the habs or the habitats are going to be Stroud Eklund items. Now, you can you can connect it, a docker to anything, really, but it honestly does not matter where. I put it at the bottom just for the sake of it. Although I don't really like that spot, it's kind of the best spot for aesthetics. So that's where I put it. Now you may not have this problem, but I exceeded my weight limit, so I had to add an extra landing gear. If so, just put it here, and I believe Paradiso sells all the Stroud items, but uh, I could be wrong. Now on one side you're going to have a fuel tank, and above that is where you're going to attach the wing, but we'll get to that later. But you'll have, you'll have your fuel tank. A, a one by one works. This one's pretty good, it has 210 and it, it gets the job done, that's what I'm trying to say. We have these Tayo landing gears, a front and a back on each side. So when I go to the other side, you'll see they're on both sides. This gives it that kind of rounded feel. And then for this, honestly, anything will work as a filler. It's just kind of there to fill in the space. As long as it kind of looks rounded and blends in. If you paint it all the same color, it blends in just fine. And no, it, it won't bother you. It certainly doesn't bother me. I used the Nova Cowling 1 LPM and I put them on both sides. And under the wing attachment on the other side, I have a cargo hold. This one's a really heavy one. I upgraded my cargo hold, which is what caused me to have to add a landing gear back here. It also had me upgrade to a better grav drive, which you can work out your reactors and grav drives on your own. It, that, that's all up to personal choice price, etc. But yeah, right above the back landing gear or the back item is going to be the reactor. Now this one's important. You need the Starship Design Rank 4 to get this Tokamak X120 because it's an A-class with 28 power. And you're going to need all of that power in order to have all your functions. In order to have your engines, your shields, your guns, you're going to need that much power. And I had to resort to weaker guns in order for that to happen. Connecting to that above the engineering bay, you're going to have a your uh, grav drive, and then you're going to connect a living quarters next to that. 
to fill out the top of the engineering bay. Connecting to the living quarters, you're going to have the control station. And then it's going to connect to the cockpit. This is the Viking CP210 cockpit from Stroud. And when we look at the inside, you will definitely know why this is the one you want to go with because it literally looks like the cockpit of the Normandy. And that's why you want Stroud items because they all match the cockpit. So it actually looks like a futuristic spaceship like you'd see in Mass Effect. Now above both the grav drive and the reactor, you're going to want to put this Stroud Cap C facing backwards. This kind of rounds it down a little bit, which is what happens on the Normandy. It kind of rounds down after it peaks a little bit. And then connecting to that, you're going to have a companion way. This is to take you up. So you go from the living, living quarters, the ladder, and you go up to the companion way, which of course, if you've played Mass Effect, leads into the captain's quarters. I believe the storeroom also works, but I could be wrong. And then connecting that to give it a rounded feel, go ahead and use the Nova Cowling 2LTF. It kind of has these little blocks right here, but it's honestly the best you can come up with. From the outside, the Tayo top designs look better, but honestly, if you see the inside of the Tayo stuff, it, it's really ugly. But doing that, you have the whole centerpiece. Now, I went ahead and put these horizontal or horizon weapon mounts here with these really weak pulse lasers on each side. That's my RT attack, and then my LT attack is these uh, electron beams, which actually kind of look like the weapon that the Normandy has during Mass Effect 2. Doesn't look exactly like it, but it's pretty close. Now the top of the Normandy has like this kind of wing, but there's nothing in this game that matches it. The closest thing I can find is this shield generator. Now there is a different shield generator that actually looks a lot better, but it's a B-class. And there's, to my knowledge, not a single reactor that has 28 power. That's a B-class. So I went ahead and opted in for this kind of weak shield. I didn't have very much power left over for a good shield. And when you put all that together, you get the centerpiece, which kind of looks like this. It looks kind of ugly, but trust the process, okay? So now we're going to cover one of the wings. And for the other wing, you just do the same thing, but reverse it. So it's not that complicated. So first things first, you're going to attach this Stroud engine bracer to right above where the cargo hold and uh, fuel tank are, which is going to be on the back half of the living quarters. And then for this side, you're going to connect it to the Stroud cowling 1LAST, connecting that to a Stroud cap A, and then flip it upside down and then for the Stroud cowling that we connect the wing to, you just flip them upside down right here. You put two of them. And above that, you're gonna put the Stroud engine mount. Then you're gonna connect that to the White Dwarf 3000 engine, which requires Starship Design Rank 1. Now onto the side of the engine mount, you're going to attach the Nova wing, which looks really good in my opinion. And then you're going to attach the Hope Tech pipes you're going to do the pipe one and then the pipe aft. And then on the bottom of the aft, you're going to attach another white dwarf engine. And then right underneath this engine mount, you're going to go ahead and put the IO cowling aft bottom. This is what I originally had as this landing gear before I swapped it out. So if you want to use that, you can, but you're going to put that there. And then that pretty much concludes the wing. So you just select all of it and then you're going to move it into place. Just like that. And it should look something like this. And it looks really, really good. It kind of looks uglier when you're in the builder mode, but when you're actually out flying the ship, a lot of the parts kind of blend together. So it's really hard to make out what parts are which. And then for the second wing, you just do the exact same thing, but kind of in the reverse order. You just flip everything horizontally and do it again. It's really that easy. Make sure you grab the right parts. Like for this engine mount, there's different versions of it. As you can see, you're going to want the one that is that has the mounts on both sides. That's the only way it's really going to work. So you're going to want to have the one with the mount on both sides. 
And then you just grab it and then move it back into place. And now you have the Normandy. Looks really good and it is massive. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the ship tour. And I'm going to show you what it looks like from the spaceport because it is huge. All right, so it's time for the ship tour. As you can see, this thing is massive. You can see the people running around down there. There's Andrea. She's trying to catch up to where I am. And then there's the little robot. So you can see how small he is and how big the ship is. It, I mean, it's massive. It literally hangs over the little slope that <laughs> in the front. When you get up and close and you look up, you're like, wow, this thing is huge. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go inside. So when you first enter the spaceship, obviously on the lower deck is the engineering bay. So you get, come through here, you have all your engineering. You have a workstation over here for Tally. And in the back here, we have yet another workstation for Garrus to do his calibrations. Now, when you go back up to the entrance, this is where the ladder will be. This is the first Bethesda game that has ladders, and I still refuse to use them. But this takes you up into the control room, which leads into the cockpit, just like the Normandy does in Mass Effect. As you see, when you enter the cockpit, it's literally the Normandy. And after seeing what the inside of this looks like, I gotta say, the rest of the ship has to be Stroud. Anyway, leaving out of the cockpit here, again, you come into the control room with all the little workstations. And then this door is shut for whatever reason, but you have the living quarters. This is where Sarah can pout about how I divorced her for another woman. And Ezekiel here, who works for free, How's it going? he's my favorite companion. So they have a place to chill when they're not uh, out getting shot at. Of course, now we have the ladder, which will take us up to the captain's quarters. Of course, uh, the captain's quarters is not really a quarters. I mean, there's no bed or just like a workstation. Oh, I guess there is a bed, but there's, yeah, there's a table with the TV, some weird science, math, your navigation table, and you have some place to relax. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior. It's not much, but it, I guess it's the closest you could get to the inside of the Normandy with the budget limitations of the shipbuilder for this game. Next time, why don't you bother someone else? So there you have it, the Normandy SR3. Remember that painting your parts will make them blend together a lot better. If you use this video to build your own Normandy, feel free to send me pictures of it on X or in my Discord. If you swap out a few parts, I'd really like to see it. Phantom Liberty is right around the corner, so you know I'm going to be making a ton of videos on that. So if that's what you would like to see, then feel free to subscribe. You can also check me out on Twitch. I'm going to be starting a brand new Skyrim playthrough over there if you are interested in that. Anyways, enough of the shameless self-promo. I guess I'll see you guys later.